Hello, I thought I'd make a quick vlog, and I don't really have anything prepared, so I'm just going to speak. And so the first thing I want to talk about is, um, you know, when I looked at the videos from four years ago, and I was like a lot heavier at my heaviest when I was about a size 20, it didn't bother me. The only thing that I noticed was how much larger my face was. And that I noticed. And I noticed also that I liked it when I put makeup on. <laughs> I miss makeup. I really do. I like makeup. So I am going to make a point of maybe asking, no, make a point of asking for makeup for Christmas. So, <clears throat> so I, in I don't know, I would love Avon again. So we'll see. We'll see. And so, you know, because I just, I, I, I love makeup. I really do. I love makeup and I don't really wear it that often. And I don't have any makeup right now, so I need some. I need some makeup that I can wear on a regular basis, you know. Um, a very natural look. A very natural look. I don't want anything too, um, too crazy, except maybe some red lipstick for every once in a while. And that would be it. So, uh, now the next topic is my sister is thinking about getting a puppy and I'm not going to say what kind she is thinking about getting, but I hope she gets one, you know, she was so sad today. It's been a week since, uh, Diego died it's been, and it's so sad. She's. This whole week was so difficult for her. Last week was so difficult for her. And today marks one week. And I feel terrible for her. I feel terrible. You know. And Diego, I took uh, Frida for a walk tonight. And it was so sad. It was so sad, you know. Frida kept smelling everything, and she just seemed a little bit down on the walk, and I miss Diego. I miss walking the two of them together, because they always walked together. And, and Frida was also, she was sniffing around, sniffing around, like looking for something. She's not acting the same as she normally does. So she's still a little sad, I think. So I don't know what dogs know. I don't. But I know they feel lost. You know? So anyway, I just, I'm going to pray for them. And if you feel, if you can. If you feel compelled to pray for them, then I would really appreciate it. And if you send positive thoughts or positive vibes or keep them in your thoughts, thank you for that too. You know, if you have prayed for them or if you've done or you've kept them in your thoughts, sent positive vibes or thought about them or sent them positive thoughts. Thank you. And anything else. I don't know what else is out there, but thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so, uh, next. So, okay, so I was losing weight. And I said, okay, I'm losing weight, so I'm going to snack a little. <laughs> yeah, I barely ever snack. You know, I don't really snack. I'm... I'm not the type to keep potato chips in the house or 
donuts or any of that. But I started snacking. I'm like, oh, yes, I am losing weight. Now I can eat a little bit, you know? So I ate donuts and, uh, and cookies and a piece of cake and a muffin with chocolate chips in it all this past week. So now... I need to stop and not do that anymore. <laughs> I have to stop myself because it's not healthy. And I haven't really been eating healthy, you know. So I have to go back to eating healthy. And I think, you know, I, uh, I think I'd feel much better, too, if I ate healthier than what I've been eating. So, not that I feel bad. I don't. But there's always a difference. I always feel a difference when I'm eating a little bit healthier. <clears throat> and today, speaking of feeling a little bit better, I uh, mentally, I felt a little different today. When I looked at my, I pulled out my sketchbook. And when I looked at the drawings, they looked slightly different to me, like, a little clearer like and I said that doesn't seem I wasn't I wasn't seeing the drawings the same way I saw them like four years ago when I drew them or even last year they all look a little different like um like sharper and I can see things a little bit clearer in the in the drawings, you know. Not that I'm seeing messages. I'm not seeing messages. The drawings themselves, you know, they seem a little sharper. And what I thought was a terrible drawing looked okay. And what I thought was a good drawing was like, eh, not really, not really. Okay, okay, okay. So... But I'm not going to critique my own art. I can't because I really am a harsh critic of myself. I really do. I'm harsh when it comes to my work. I'm very harsh. So I'm not going to critique my work. <clears throat> so, but the, the drawings did seem a little bit clearer. You know, so that's all I'm saying. <sighs> And, you know, on the cover, there is one painting of Diego as a puppy and one drawing of him as a puppy, too. Both of them are as, of him as a puppy. And it's so sad. It makes me sad. He was such a big part of my life. He was such a huge part of my life. Always going to visit the dogs. Always at my sister's house. Always taking care of the dogs. Always stepping in when my sister needed help with the dogs. Taking them for walks. Just being there. Taking them to the vets. Taking, you know, feeding them when she had to stay late. Letting them out and feeding them when she had to stay late at work. You know. I'll never see Diego's tail wag again. He'll never give me big kisses anymore. When we took, the last time I saw him was when we were taking him to the vet hospital on Friday. He had been home from Wednesday and then we took him back on Friday for blood tests and I had a pillow in the car and he he put half of his body on the pillow. He, like, he lied on the pillow. And I put my hand down. And he put his little head, his little chin, on my hand. And that's how we went to the hospital the entire way. And I was patting him. And then... 
we got to the hospital and they came out and they got him. They carried him in. I didn't even say goodbye. I just, you know, I thought, I thought he'd be back. Because he was doing better. That's why he, they let him out of the vet hospital. But no. And that was the last time I saw him. And that was the last interaction I had with such a huge part of my life. You know. So. <sighs> anyway. I hope my sister gets another dog. I really do, because she's really hurting right now, and I know no one will ever be able to take Diego's place, no one, no other dog, I should say, will be able to, or any person, nothing or nothing, no one or any other dog can take Diego's place, but, you know. A puppy brings so much happiness, you know. Anyway, uh, there isn't much else I want to talk about. As I said before, I had nothing prepared. These are all just things that I just come to mind as I'm speaking. And, and it's been, uh, for me at least, it's been a good day, you know. I, uh was not feeling well at all. And now I feel much better. But I feel I, the only thing that brings me down is the fact that my sister is very upset today. Was very upset today. So anyway, uh, a positive note. What can I want to leave it? On a positive note. So, I wish, I wish, I, I really wish I could get comments so people could start guessing the breed she's going to get. Okay? I wish people could comment and guess what she's getting. <clears throat> if she can. If she can. Okay, and on that note, I'm going to end this vlog, and I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow, and things go your way. All right, bye.